What? The Hyperfund under fire in India? Hyperfund जैसी पॉन्जी स्कीम से निवेशकों को सावधान रहने की हिदायत ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से DEFI पर निगरान I thought Hyperfund was 100% legit. Uh, anyways, apparently uh, they're starting to get more fraud warnings uh, for investors. Okay. So anyways, we're going to get into that in just a moment. Hi, this is Rory Singh. Welcome to the channel. Please find that big red button, subscribe, and also click on this bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important information. On this channel, what I do most of the time, as per request by viewers, uh, people ask me to review stuff. Sometimes I find some good income opportunities, but more often than not, I found some brutal nasty scams that were responsible for stealing billions of dollars collectively from unsuspecting victims. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. Get into the null. And stay into the know, okay? Uh, some people are borrowing money from credit cards and even mortgage equity, so you don't want to miss out and lose out on this information, right? You make the wrong mistake uh, in this industry, and you could end up paying for it literally for years and even decades, okay? Also, if you're looking for something legit online, you know, most people don't know how to market and promote themselves or their businesses online. Uh, there's a powerful affiliate marketing educational platform underneath this video. First link in the description. Um, we can teach you how to, you know, put yourself out there, how to create a um, well of traffic, right? Uh, the only people that succeed in this industry are people with skill sets of marketing, people who have ongoing traffic, and, uh, you know, people who can influence others using ethics, okay? Uh, so we can teach you how to put yourself out there and we can even assign you a one-on-one -on -one coach to mentor you every step of the way, okay? So if, you're, if you've been online for quite a while now and you're still not seeing the type of results that you want, and more importantly, if you have a job and you, you know, you've been at this for years, right, and you want to leave your job, right, then you need access to this information below. So get access to a powerful program and system underneath this video first link in the description okay so anyways without further ado let's get into the topic today the hyper fund okay uh, i reviewed the hyper fund back i'll include a link uh, to this report for the india fraud warning um on my new blog rory singh reviews underneath this video in the description box lower below so what we're talking about today is Hyperfund Investors Fraud Warning Alert India. Now, Hyperfund is being touted as a 100% legal and legit investment opportunity by network marketing distributors, but in recent issues, they got a UK fraud warning uh, back in March. Okay. Now, what I noticed was... The security regulator for the UK, they make mistakes, right? What they did was originally they only included a link to the Hyperfund. Um, the Hyperfund dot online, uh, when you go to that website now, it just, it's not online, okay? Uh, it was an affiliate uh, network marketing distributor of Hyperfund from the UK, or maybe he, I think he was um, actually from South Africa. Okay, where he's from doesn't really matter, but he was promoting heavily in the UK and it got the attention of the security regulator. For those of you who don't know what a security regulator is, you should go look this information up. Type in Hyperfund, FCA, fraud warning. You're going to learn more about what a security regulator is, especially if you are looking to free yourself financially uh, with investing. Now, a security regulator for the UK it's the government body or appointed by the government of the UK uh, to oversee all financial companies when they're promising a passive investment opportunity to the public. Now, Hyperfund is not registered with them even up to now. 
Now, originally when they came out with the fraud warning, we're going to get to the India fraud warning in just a moment, so stay tuned. Um, so when the UK fraud warning came out, they blundered it and they put uh, an affiliate's website on it instead of the hyperfund.com. But anyways, uh, they finally got around to it on August 31st. They updated it and included um, the hyperfund.com, the actual domain, okay? Now, instead of registering with the UK, right, what did the uh, Hyperfund admins, Ryan Zoo and the gang do? They hired some specialist. I don't really think she's much of a specialist, but they taught, they had hired some lady, right, to make a long story short. And she taught everyone in the Hyperfund community not to use the word investing or investments or investors and to refer to hyperfund as a membership club etc etc okay but at the end of the day what are the network marketers touting they're tightening touting or tighting 300 percent roi whenever you use stuff like that you know it still comes back to you know um investment opportunity that's kind of silly. All they needed to do was actually register with the FCA, being as legit as the network marketing distributors, you know, touting Hyperfund are claiming. If they're legit, why don't they just register with everyone? Now, some of you, we're going to talk about the ASIC registration. I noticed they did register with one regulator for Australia. We'll get into that, why that's a load of bullshit, okay, why that's meaningless. We'll cover that in this quick video, okay. Now, if you want to see what happened in new delhi the government is keeping a close eye on cryptocurrency floating in the market out of the country following an alert and blah 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 you can read the full article here i'll include the article well the article will be in my blog you go into the blog report for the hyper fund india fraud warning and you'll get access to the to the one of the articles this is just from one publication okay we can go out and find more if some of you guys need more references Okay, this is just one publication, uh, Economic Times in India, that overlooked uh, Hyperfund. Not overlooked it, that's looking at it. It got on, on their radar, and they're calling it an outright Ponzi scheme. They've even included the words network marketing and Ryan Zoo and all that good stuff in this article. You can get access to it by clicking on this link here. Okay, now on top of all of that, uh, most ruthless and even desperate network marketers of Hyperfund are saying the craziest things. Why am I saying like ruthless and, and, and desperate? Because you got to read some of the comments here. They're claiming that Hyperfund is partnered with Visa, that it owns banks and even has shopping malls. Really? Okay. I mean, who the heck would say something like that? You know what? Let's go and see who the heck would say something like that. Just bear with me for one second. I get people coming and making all kinds of claims here. Now this fellow here, Albert Shaw, three days ago, what did he say? He said a good cock and bull story, okay? Um, so, he says... That's the scamming people with watermine crypto stare and on and on. They can't scheme anymore. Hyperfund is with Visa and MasterCard and they have their own bank, their own shopping mall. And yes, they are taking all the customers. Stop spreading lies, Rory Singh. You should delete this jacked up video. Okay. Now, where's the proof that they have their own shopping mall? Where's the bank? Anytime you ask any of these guys, that's why I use the words ruthless and desperate, right? Some of the network markers promoting this stuff. I mean, if you click on, on this here, I bet you he's some gospel Jesus guy. Okay. Seriously? Preaching the word of Jesus and, and pumping people into scams? that's ridiculous okay so yes ruthless and even desperate why is this even happening i'm going to get into why a lot of the network marketers think this is some kind of 
shortcut to their success. There's no shortcut. You got to pay your dues. Okay. Now, here's a comment here I found on Facebook. There's some type of uh, organization warning people about scams on Facebook, pyramid schemes and scams. And uh, they did a an alert on Hyperfund. And what did this lady say? She said, totally untrue. Don't believe anything haters post to push their own agenda. Okay. And then I clicked on her, uh, you know, Facebook uh, profile. I just hovered over it, right, as you can do in Facebook. And it popped up, Lucy, so-and-so. And she looks like a, a librarian, right? Isn't that crazy? I mean, the people who are promoting these, that gospel dude just now, probably preaching the word of Jesus all over Facebook, and then trying to pump people into an investment scam. We've got an uh, innocent looking lady here, right? I had a lady, uh, when I was, when I had a truck driving job, um, I was delivering an in to, trying to deliver to a hospital. Lady cuts me off. She looked just like this, you know, not exactly like this, but she, and she, Gave me this kind of image, like a librarian cuts me off. I had to run an 18-wheeler rig up on the sidewalk. I could have, like, killed people because this lady decided to cut in front of the truck, right? And I didn't want to kill her. I had to go up on the sidewalk. And then, um, luckily, nothing happened other than what I didn't even notice. We On the truck, we actually had some fiberglass on the bumper and it got pushed in a little. I didn't even notice that. I noticed she pulled over uh, about 20 feet in front of me, just around the corner, watching in her rear view mirror. And I walked up to her and I'm like, what the F is going on, lady? Are you guys going nuts on the road? And she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, you're so sorry. You you caused, uh, you could have caused a huge accident and uh, I could have ran over a little child on the sidewalk. I'm so sorry. I mean, these are the people that are promoting opportunities like Hyperfund. I mean, they don't look like, they don't look like outlaws. They don't look like bikers, right? It's ridic getting ridiculous now. I'm not saying bikers are, are bad people. I've got some... Uh, friends who are bikers and I even was trained how to do body work um, prepping cars by a guy who used to be the leader of the Satan's Choice real biker real outlaw uh, for the Mon Montreal chapter here in Canada okay so I know a little thing about bikers I worked for one for quite a while and that was quite an experience took me on his boat took me on his plane and uh, told me all kinds of crazy stories but what i'm trying to say is she doesn't look like you know um like a criminal <laughs> but what is she doing she's justifying an investment scam like hyperfund okay now why is this all happening a lot of network marketers at the end of the day why are they promoting stuff like investment scams even though a lot of the regulators are saying it's illegal. They can even, you know, call the police, uh, investigate you. They have people who've been arrested and are going to jail for BitConnect in the past. People are still doing it because they think they can get away with it. But aside from that, a lot of network marketers think that it's a shortcut. They couldn't succeed with stuff in the past. It's not that they couldn't succeed. They didn't, you know, fully start their online or even offline ventures their home-based business. It's not that most people can't succeed. It's that, you know, you need to find a legitimate system set up for the long term and be prepared to pay your dues. But with opportunities like Hyperfund, a lot of the people who are promoting Barack's not that long ago in Wiseling that exit scammed, Cubit Life, right, are now pumping Hyperfund and they think, right, this is kind of a delusioned way of thinking. They think it's a shortcut. But here, wake up call. Wake up call. The same thing that a lot of you guys were running away from, meaning paying your dues. Um, people who say stuff like, oh, it's your, you know, your opportunity, op an opportunity is too saturated. Oh, people are sponsor shopping. People are looking for leaders. Uh, people are only joining, you know heavy hitters and influence same things happening with hyperfund guys the majority of people 
right now. What are they doing? They're sponsor shopping for leaders. They're looking for leadership and mentorship. They're looking for the people who already have the results. Right? And they're joining who? Influencers. So at the end of the day, what do you got to do? You've got to hope and pray that Hyperfund stays up and running forever. And most of you guys know it's a Ponzi. Even people defending it, right? They're defending, uh, they're defending and attacking videos like this that show the red flags. But they're not showing one shred of evidence that they have a bank, that Hyperfund uh, has a bank. They say stuff like they're partners with Visa. That's not true. They have a Visa card. A lot of Ponzi schemes can get access to Visa cards. It's not hard. You get a shell organization and you can go through the backtrack type of method and get a Visa card. And, and who the heck is Visa anyway? A lot of you guys are saying stuff like the bank is e evil. So wouldn't Visa, Visa be evil? Visa most likely does not know that their opportunity is linked directly with Hyperfund the Ponzi scheme. Most likely it's linked. Well, it's not most likely. It's linked through Hyperfay, Hyperpay. And on the back end, through a shell company organization. And that's how they can get a, a Visa card. No biggie. But a lot of people are saying that bank's evil. So that would mean Visa's evil. Because e Visa's like a bank, right? Credit card company. That doesn't make any sense. Hyperfund is not uh, partners with Visa. Visa has not endorsed Hyperfund. Uh, Hyperfund doesn't have any banks. Uh, where are the shopping malls? I'd like to see that. But at the end of the day, none of this, you guys don't have to do none of that stuff. You don't have to lie. The people who are joining Hyperfund, and some of you might come here uh, who are going to invest in or who already have. I'm not trying to get you to stop. You guys should go ahead and learn by experience. Invest in it. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not here promising you any income with Hyperfund. I don't, uh, I'm not promoting any type of passive MLM system like the Hyperfund or the Hyperfund.com. What I'm saying is if all of you think that it's so legit, invest heavily. The best way to learn is by experience. So before I close off here, you guys don't have to come out with more cock and bull stories. Just tell the truth. If you're a network marketer promoting Hyperfund, uh, be willing to pay your dues. And that's the only way that you're going to make money. You can make some money with Hyperfund while it's up and running. But they're promising 300% ROI. That's ridiculous. Okay, It's unsustainable. Uh, no financial company in their right mind would ever give anyone that. Believe whatever you want to believe. And those of you who want to invest, people are going to invest anyway. Okay. So put money in. Don't be scared. And learn by experience is what I, what, what you should be, how you should be learning. You don't have to believe a thing I say. Learn by your own experience. And time itself will be the greatest messenger. And the network marketers, you guys don't have to lie. Just say it's a Ponzi. Promote it like a Ponzi. That way, when it exits scams, no one's surprised. But the people who are dumping money into it, in the back of their mind, they have they have their own intuition. They can smell bullshit, but at the end of the day, they're like, well, they're paying out right now. Maybe, just maybe it's going to work. But at the back of their mind, it's like too good to be true. Anyways, that's my video for today. Investors fraud warning in India by the media. It's being heavily publicized by media companies, mainstream media, and even online publications. There are more. All you have to do is go out there and start digging. Eventually, eventually the SEC's got to get involved. There's a lot of Americans promoting Hyperfund right now. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. Uh, if you're still here and you're still looking for, you know, you're tired of exit scam and you're prepared to roll up your sleeves and actually become the change that you need and that you want to find desperately for yourself, powerful opportunity to do so, set up for the long term, long term sustainable income, 
and some of the very best trading I've ever seen online. <clears throat> Get access to powerful training and education underneath this video. First link in the description. Also very lucrative affiliate marketing program. Um, that's the first link underneath this video. Second link, if you guys are looking for traffic, get access to highly converting affordable website traffic to your affiliate links. Second link underneath this video. If you didn't already subscribe, make sure to do so. And click on the bell notification. Also, please like and share this video. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.